to the Big Dog Show again. We got our boy Sosa. We got Brandon behind the camera. He's also going to be jumping into the video. Today we are doing a Arnold Schwarzenegger chest and back workout. How you feeling about it? Oh, I'm trying to get big like him. How you feeling about it? Dude, Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of my freaking role models, so I'm so excited to do this workout. We got his workout right here on muscleandfitness.com. Let me zoom in on it right now. Let me see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? So we got the chest and back exercise. We got bench press, incline, dumbbell pullovers, chin-ups, bent over rows, deadlifts, and crunches for abs, man. Let's dive right into this. Let's go. All right, so we're doing a plate and a 10. We're doing it for three to, from three to four sets, 10 reps each. So let's just jump into it. Let him work for that last rep, man. Like, let him get 10. I can't let him hold it up. Oh, was that 10? It was 10. Oh, okay. I thought it was 9. My bad. Are we good? That felt good, though. I'm thinking about doing two plates and a 25, so let's do it. Two plates, 25, bro. I'm, hey, I'm hitting this shit. <laughs> he tried to cry himself out of doing it. He said it might be too heavy. There's never such thing as too heavy. It's all mental. He told oh. me that. I don't know what he said, but let's do it. That felt so much lighter. Thank God. That felt, that felt like 135, bro. God <laughs> bless America. All right, guys, so we just finished incline. No bench press was first, but I'd like to start with my upper chest first. So now we're doing bench press. That incline felt a little heavy, man. Let me see that, let me see that. Okay. So, hey, man, bench press right now. Brain is up, let's go. Yeah, if I messed up this set because I'm not listening to my typical depression. Oh. Um, so. I'll show you guys at the end once I get it. I like it. Need a lift off. He worked for that last one, baby. He worked for that last one. How you feeling? He worked for that, that last one. Oh man, he's red. That he's cherry rough. red. That's how I like his cherry red. Oh. I'm pink. Look at his shape. So my body is just naturally weak right now because of antibiotics. So if I don't get this, no judgment. Don't be spamming me in the comments. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. He said, "Don't spam him in the comments, bro." They work for it. Thank you for Brandon, cause that shit was not going up, but he, he worked for it. No, that was good, that was good. Oh, All right, I'm turning red. Why don't you let the people know what you just said behind cameras? I said, I want to get more better form and do a better rep, so I was going to do two plates and a 10. Let's see, let's see what's going on, let's see what's going on. I'm going to hit this regardless, cause I'm the big guy. What a pause on that last rep. Uh, I used like barely two fingers. I was letting him work for that shit. Uh, what what a pause. Off. I didn't know I had that pause in me, bro. You were about to teach yourself out. No, I wasn't. What was I going to do? You said you were going to do two plates and a ten. Oh, yeah. No, that felt surprisingly light. I don't know what's going on. 
It's a little bit of a weird day today. So we're doing, I don't know what the hell we're doing. Parsh is just showing me how to do it. So I'll let Parsh explain it once he gets there. That was something else. I almost fell over that first rep. The way this is one of Arnold's most iconic lifts that he does, man. It's amazing for the chest and the back. It is a one, it is an exercise that is a little bit tougher to master, but when you guys get it, it's unlimited gains. Oh, good set, man. See that chest just stretching, man. The striations and the love in his chest. I feel it's impeccable. <laughs> I feel it in my coagula just expanding and contracting, and my neurons and neutrons and cells and one cell organisms, shit like that. Come back to this man talking about cells and organisms, bro. Easy 10. Man, so we just finished the dumbbell pullovers. How are you feeling about that? I like this, it. it's a new exercise, but I feel it already. Listen, man, you know when he's feeling it, when he's talking about cells and organisms, when I come back from putting the weights back. Either way, we're done with feeling the pump. Let's go to chin-ups, man, let's get this. Right now, we're loving the pump. We're loving the fact we get it worked out today, man. We appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Chin-ups, man, one of the, a staple for building your back. You're not doing chin-ups, you're doing it wrong. Let's get it. You know how in the New Year's challenge, we uh, we did the pull-ups at the end? Yeah. You know how he forgot to put it in the video? Crazy. What's this man doing? He's slacking. He knew, he knew I did more than him, so he was a little upset and didn't want to put it in the video. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. You know, he's, he's in a bulk right now. So I definitely, or he's cutting now. So we'll see, bro. Hey, Brandon's up. Let's get it. Not everyone can beat the big dog, boys. Not everyone can beat it. All right, so we're gonna do bend over rows. The one common mistake that I see people do is they might grab a grip like this, where one arm's over, one arm's under. But unless you're switching it, you're not getting the same workout on both sides uh, because of the way you're holding it. So either you're switching it every other rep, or the other set, or you're doing it either both underhand or both overhand. Do a plate? Yeah. That was good. You just gotta do it controlled. Make sure you're not just having your back arch. Cause that'll kill you over the long run. Form, baby. Form, form, form. I know I can speed this. I used to be a big ego lifter until I really started focusing on my form. And that's how I started to see results every single week. You can build up that weight as you progress in your, you know, in your fitness journey. Don't try to just slap on two plates and bullshit the weight. Take your time, do a good form, and do progressive overloading, and you will, you will see the weight stacking up every single week and just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So, hey man, so, so let's go. Cover came off. Yeah, pump cover came off. I got to the chain out. Take the shirt off. Give me five months. Give me for my test, <laughs> What I 
really liked about what I just saw with him is when he was doing the row, he didn't he didn't BS his reps. He went and let it hang all the way to his knee and then brought the weight back up slow and controlled. That's, that's exactly what we want to see in a bent over row. What it do you guys, if you guys have made it this far in the video, first off, I wanna say thank you so much for actually watching the entire video. The love and the support from everybody has been absolutely insane from all these videos and I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to watch it and just hey, show some love to it. We obviously forgot to do an outro so I wanted to put this in the video as well and before anyone says, oh, you guys didn't do a deadlift and stuff like that, we just didn't have the time and, and honestly, we're, we're not like too big on deadlifting so we just kind of left that out. We did the whole workout and we enjoyed the whole workout. So I hope you guys enjoy it, man. I love every single one of you guys and I'll see y'all next week. Let's go.